Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you another tool that you can add to your data science toolkit. It's known as Open Web UI. Basically, it's completely open source, and it allows you to run large language models locally. So what that means is that imagine that you go on flight and you want to watch a movie. Well, you can download that movie and then watch it without the internet. Basically, you, you'll be able to download the weights of any large language model and then use it even without internet. It's only using the resources off your computer. Now, within Open Web UI, we can run these locally or downloaded models, or we can even run ChatGPT, we can run the Anthropic Cloud models, all to the use of an API. So let's go over some simple use cases, and then I can show you how you can set it all up. So first, I'm going to ask it to write me some code to create a website about puppies. And you can see that it is using the resources of my computer, so it's not going to be as fast as something like ChatGPT. But here we can see that it is starting to do its thing. So it's creating this website, and in real time, we can also see what this is looking like. So any update that we make, we can see pretty much the impact of that in real time. Now imagine that you want to compare the performance of multiple models. Well, you could do that. Imagine that you want to see what Sonnet 3.5 and maybe something like um, ChatGPT 4.0 the latest model uh, says when you ask it to tell you a fun fact about the Roman Empire. You'll see side by side the results of both of the models. Something else that you can do with Open Web UI is also save your prompts. So imagine that you're reusing your prompts over and over again. Well, within Open Web UI, all you would do is go over to your prompts, and then I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to call this email template. And uh, I'm going to say something like, hello, person hope you are well. And I'm going to save and create. Now, if I will ever have to call my prompts in chat, all I would do is add a forward slash and then call my email template. Now, as soon as I run this, it says, hello person. It highlights this so I can just simply type in the name of that person, such as John. And then it gives that response. Suppose that I didn't like the response, I can always go over to my controls and even change out some of these variables like temperature, for example, if I want a little bit less creative responses, I could do that. I can change out things like top P, top K, all of those different things um, to get the desired response. So for example, if I want this open web UI to talk to me like a pirate, if I run this, now if I give the same exact question again, it's going to talk like it's a pirate. There we go. I'm not sure if this is exactly how pirates talk, but this is the response that I get. Suppose that you want to create an entire collection of documents. So within my workspace, I'm going to go to my knowledge base. Here I can see that I have a candidate resume pool. And I have a bunch of different candidates like Brad Olivier. I have Joe Ivan, Mike Tyson, Steve Allen, all of these different resumes of people. And this is what I refer to as my knowledge base because it's a collection of multiple resumes. It's not just one resume. Now, what I could do is I could talk to my entire collection of documents. So what I would do is add the symbol and then call my candidate resume pool. And I would say, are there any candidates with SQL experience? And then it's going to search through all of the different um, resumes of people. And then based on that, it's going to say, well, ac according to this, the two resumes uh, that you would want to look at are Mike Tyson. And uh, you can see that it also provided information directly from Mike Tyson's resume. So this is basically how you can also chat with your own documents. Something else that we can do is within the Open Web UI, we have an entire community. So... The community provides us access to all of these different tools and models and functions that other people have created. So if you go to functions here, you can see all the, the newest functions that other people have created, like this one, which is a function to uh, run some SQL code. This is one to load in the Anthropic Cloud models. Uh, we have functions to visualize data, all of these things. So, and it's very simple. All you would do is click on this, and when you hit Get, and import to Open Web UI, you can automatically hit save, and there's going to be able to save this function directly to your Open Web UI platform. I guess this one didn't work, but uh, oh, I guess it did now. Uh, it was just a formatting issue. But this is basically how you can load in your functions, your tools, all of those things directly from the Open Web UI community. Now, the best part about Open Web UI is that it's completely free. So if you wanted to install Open Web UI, all you would do is just go over to the GitHub page. 
And um, here within this page, if you scroll down, you can see that there are two main ways in which we can run Open Web UI. The first way is to Python pip. And to do this, you would first have to run pip install Open Web UI and then just run the second command, Open Web UI serve. Um, and any single time you want to start up Open Web UI, you just run this command. And it's going to run on your local host 8080. The other way, and this is the way that I prefer to run this, is using a Docker container. And to do this, all you would do is simply copy this command, and then you can paste it in your command prompt window as long as you have Docker Desktop installed. It's going to install Open Web UI and is also going to run it. And when, when it runs, it's going to run on your local host 3000. So these are two ways in which you can run Open Web UI. Um, the other thing that you also need to install is Olama. So Olama is what we use to download the weights of these large language models. To install Olama, all you would do is simply go over to olama.com. And I can see all of these different models here, like the Llama 3.1, the Mistral model, the Gemma model, the Quen model. Suppose that you want to or, or download the Llama 3.3, which is the seven bill parameter model. All I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy this. And then I'm going to go over to my open web UI under my admin panel, under settings, click on connections. Now here I have my different APIs, right? I have one for open AI. I have one for Grog. Uh, suppose that I wanted to add a new model. I'm going to click on manage. And then it says pull a model from olama.com. I'm simply going to paste the name of the model that I wanted to pull, and then I'm going to hit download. Once that happens, you can see that it's now started to download the Llama 3.3 model. So this is how we can download the weights of any large language model and then simply run it through Open Web UI. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, there is an entire community of people for Open Web UI. There is the Discord channel. I also encourage you to go over to digitalbrainbase.com where they discuss all things Open Web UI, so things like functions, pipelines, everything there. Uh, if you found this video interesting, then please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. Um, if you want me to cover future videos or just expand this video a little bit more, then please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll make sure I do that. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.